While we're on the subject of psychology, I want to talk about narcissism. Don't worry. I'll tie it all together, okay? Don't worry. Give me a second. Because I think this is so fucking relevant. This is very, 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 very relevant stuff. So hear me out, okay? Narcissistic personality disorder, okay? NPD. This is a disorder. It's a, it's a personality disorder. It really, it's a real thing, okay? Involves a pattern of self-centered, arrogant thinking and behavior, lack of empathy, which is the major key in what we do, and consideration for other people, and an excessive need for admiration, Others often describe people with MPD as cocky, manipulative, selfish, patronizing, and or patronizing and uh, demanding. Okay. Now, it's easy to say there's a lot of narcissists in what we do and DJs and stuff, <laughs> you know. Uh, but like, but true narcissism, you know, it is literally the worst trait to have as a DJ. Like the worst. All narcissists are terrible DJs. All, if you're a true narcissist, if someone is a true narcissist, they are terrible DJs. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Narcissists, just like it says here, right? They have a lack of empathy and consideration for other people. They don't know how to take other people's perspective. Narcissists are terrible perspective takers. And that is one of the key, I mean, it's a key to life, but like it is one of the main keys into what we do. It's how we read a crowd. We have to take everything from other people's perspective. We have to look at the whole dance set from another person's shoes, you know? And that's how you can truly get people to dance. You have to be a good perspective taker. So if you guys are like, let's say, you know, like I, I don't you know, hire a lot of people, but if I was hiring another assistant or I was trying to train your next DJ, or if you're running a multi-op and you're looking for great DJs or whatever, I, anything, any red flags that point to narcissism run away because they're always, always, always going to be terrible DJs. They don't know how to be a good perspective taker. Let's do a little exercise, okay? Let's do a little exercise. This is like, um, bear with me, you know, do it with me, okay? You ready? All right, ready? Well, we're, this is, I, I, I don't want to explain what it is and I don't want to mess up like, you know, because it's an experiment. Okay. First, I want you to do three things, okay? Number one, identify right here while you're watching or if you're watching this later, identify your dominant hand, okay? Mine's my right. This is my, my right hand is my dominant hand, okay? So put, put your dominant hand up. Now, I want you to th snap three times with your dominant hand in a row, real fast, right? One, two, three, okay? Now, I want you to draw an E on your forehead, a capital E on your forehead, for me, okay? So right here on your forehead, just draw a capital E, right? So just draw the E, just like this, okay? Now, did you do it? So if you drew the E so you could see it, right? So if you drew the E from your perspective, so you so it's right for you, you to see, you might have to work on your perspective taking skills. If you drew the E in the opposite way, if you literally drew an opposite E from your perspective, but just so that way you can see it on my forehead and from an outside person looking in, it looks like an E on my forehead, then you're a good perspective taker. This is an old uh, you know, psychology type uh, test that they use when they're, do when they're studying narcissism and stuff like that, right? They'll, they'll ask you to do a bunch of stuff and then this will be the test afterwards to see if like you absorbed any of it. And it's super interesting. You know, if you drew that E so you could see it best, you, you got to work on seeing things from other people's perspective because it's going to greatly, greatly, greatly help you in your mixing. That is how you read a crowd. You know, you can't, narcissists, narcissists would, would, would kind of like look at a crowd, play the music they like that they think is going to work when it doesn't work. It must be the crowd. Why aren't they dancing? This crowd sucks. Now that sometimes is the reason, but not all the time. I would argue the majority of the time it's not. It's it's you. In more, majority of the time you got to look in the mirror and say, all right, well, you know, what could I have played differently? I always do that. I always think for you know what could I have done differently in retrospect and learn from that. 
especially since doing the show, because I'm always thinking when I fuck up, I'm thinking, all right, well, you know, how can I do this differently? How could I fix this? And then I can want to explain it to you guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's helped my perspective thing. You know, it, narcissists will always, always, always be terrible DJ. So if you know a DJ, I don't care if they're like a bigger DJ or whatever, or smaller DJ or anything. If they have any of these narcissistic, you know, uh, you know, characteristics, I can almost promise you they suck at reading a crowd and they can't really throw down. You know what I mean? It's, it's just a fact. If, if you understand your crowd's point of view, you'll have a much better chance at making them dance. It's just a fact. You have to understand. You have to look at everything from their point of view. So, you know, avoid anything narcissistic at all costs, at all costs. And, you know, you'll find, too, that, like, narcissism comes with power. And it's, it's I mean, it's honestly one of my worst fears. I never want to I never want to become narcissistic. I always watch my videos back, make sure I don't sound like a douche or make sure I'm not like, you know, patronizing or like talking down to people, things like, like I hate that shit and I never want to get to that point, you know, like people can like, you know, this quote unquote, you know, get followers or whatever and then, you know, you end up becoming a narcissist. You know, the people in power, the people the more power, it's like the, it's like an inverse relationship. The more power you have, the less the more shitty you are at being a good perspective taker. And the opposite, if you have no power or you're just kind of starting out or just whatever, you're a great perspective taker because that's how you make it. You want to like take it from other people's perspectives, you know? So just never lose that, all right? Always try and think of things in other people's shoes. Always, 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 you know? And it'll help you as a DJ.